Hi there. Well, today I want to talk about Steve Hyatt. Steve Hyatt is a fashion photographer that is born in uh, Good Brighton. And that's the photographer who made me love fashion photography. I wrote an article in French talking about how did I discover Steve Hyatt, but that's not what I want to do in this video. In this video, I want to analyze four of his, of his photographies to see what are the characteristics inherent to him. So let's start with the first photography. The first thing I can see when I look at a Steve Hyatt photography is a typical and deep blue color. That blue colors make me think about the Velvia film. I don't know if he used the Velvia film, if he likes it, but it's what he reminds me. It's a deep blue, and in the light, it seems to have um, a natural filter, but I'm not sure. I think he used a flash, so it's why there is a really light center with some uh, darker uh, borders. The second thing I can see is about the horizon, the leaning horizon. He likes apparently to break the rules. It's not common in fashion photography to lean the horizon. And it's typical from him. Uh, it seems he liked a lot uh, hard light. Maybe uh, it's sun photography. I know that sometimes he, had, he has an assistant with a flash. I saw a photo uh, behind the skin where is in which there is an assistant with uh, Kadra Erix, if I remember well. Whatever, it is a hard light. Uh, the colors are mainly primary colors, blue, yellow, and some white. These his photographies are really contrasty. There is another rule that he likes to break, that we can see here. It's the dark side of the face of the model. Every time I made this, photographers reproach me we don't see uh, a left eye or a right eye. It's not a good uh, manner to take a photography. You have to light a bit the other face. It mustn't be in the in shadows. But but it makes it and it works. And I have to admit, I like this. I like this way of breaking the rules. I like the results of breaking rules like he, like he, does, like he does. Well, let's see another photography of him. Second photography. Once again, there is this, this deep blue, really deep blue, that is contrasted to another uh, color rose, a rose color that is uh, near from magentas. It seems he really likes to play with uh, complementary colors and primary colors. Once again, I see a uh, hard light with really detailed lines of shadows. And there is here a rule that breaks and uh, that is really uncommon in uh, portraits and fashion photography. Look at the size of the end of the model. It's the same size of a face. If you do that, be sure that everyone will tell you it's an error. But, once again, Stewart likes to break the rules. And to me, it works well. Here yeah, the horizon is not leaning uh, or just really a bit. But 
that one. Let's see a third photography. This this one, except of the breaking the rule breaks about the hand of the model. It's quite common, quite uh, regular. Well, third photography. The sky is less blue here, but it's still present, and there are still a lot of blues in the photography. I don't know if it use these colors off or if it's the choice of uh, another director, uh, another art director. But uh, whatever, what I see is primary color, blue, red, uh, yellow ball, uh, yellow balloon, balloon uh, in the grass. I don't know if it's something chosen. Once again, a leaning horizon. He really liked that. I think he used a wide angle lens because if we look at the houses, they are distorted. Once again, he used a light. Uh, I'm not sure if it is uh, the sunlight or a flash. I don't know, but it's something really characteristic of his photos. Uh, what else to say about this photo? Mm, nothing will matter that he likes to represent uh, some uh, common aspects, common uh, moments of the life. Girls with a bicycle, uh, with some uh, dining uh, crops. And it's clearly here yeah, a uh, fashion uh, photography because there is a really great makeup and uh, hair styling, and the stylism is also really, really well chosen. Let's see the last photography. This one is really typical of Stevayet. Well, once again, the first thing that I note is the blue, the, this deep blue. When I see, when I think about Stevayet, the color blue jumps into my mind. And as I said before, I don't know if he uses Velvia, but these colors, the red of the of the bikini. The blues, the, the yellow orange tone of the stones reminds me the Velvia 50. I don't know if I'm right or whatever, but that's what it reminds me. And once again, there is this leaning horizon that is really strong, really uncommon in uh, actual photography. There is an obsession. A terrible obsession of uh, to have a straight horizon. Personally, I hate this obsession. I want to be free, I want to... Uh, I like to break the rules. What else? One again, once again, uses hard light. And we can see one side of the face of the model. It's quite difficult to understand the vision of Stevayet. This photography seems to be really simple. It's just a girl, a bicycle, and uh, the horizon, the horizon behind her. And I don't know why and how we can immediately tell and say it's a Stevayet photography. But, as I said, there are some characteristics that are really, really common and uh, recurrent. Still, yet, it's still a big mystery to me. And it's really hard to know what defines his style. Really hard. Why, why his photographies look so simple and are so characteristic? 
So yes, there are some odd shadows uh, on his, on her belly, on her shoulders, on her face, on her hands too. And usually, when you show that to the photographers, what they are going to tell you is your photography is bad. But hey, look, still I did it. And it was published in the Vogue, in Nova, in Marie Claire. He photographed some great models, some international models. So it learns, it teaches us something. If we know how to break the rules, don't hesitate to break the rules. Rules are really important to learn, really important to know. But Sometimes you have to break them to make your character, to make what defines you as a photographer. So explore, experiment, uh, break the rules, find what talks to you, what, what talks to you, what's inside your brain, inside your feelings. Photography is first about feelings. And when I look at Steve Ayet photography, I can have feelings. There is something that is really communicating with me. It's really hard to understand or to define with words. But that's it. Break the rules and find yourself. Goodbye.